Today I'm going to be rating five NBA basketball sneakers. Testing out which one is better to hoop in based on the comfort, design, and price of the sneaker. Starting with the Steph Curry 11s. I have the beautiful Warriors colorway. I love the different materials on the shoe, but I do wish there was more yellow and that it was like the old Curry. So far, it feels super snug on my foot. I actually like that feeling. The design of the sneaker feels kind of kiddish. I don't know if it's the colorway for me, but I know obviously the Warriors are blue and yellow, so it goes well, but I think it's too much blue. But they're comfortable. I like the cushion in the heel and the cushion targeting the ball of my foot right here. Let's do a squeak test. On the last video, squeak test on every sneaker except Nike was not squeaking. So come on, Steph. <laughs> Let's see what you got, all right. I'ma wipe them just in case, you know. A little something something. You had a little bit of squeak. I give that squeak six out of 10. Curry's a guard, I'm a guard. So they should do pretty well with ball handling drills. Let's go. So far, so good. So on the overall design of the shoe, I give this specific colorway and design a seven out of 10. These shoes cost $160. For that price point, I give it a seven out of 10. These shoes are lightweight. The traction is holding up pretty well. You know Curry's gotta be lightweight and comfortable because all he does is run around the gym trying to get a three off. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, I'm Steph Curry. From downtown, oh my gosh, I'm trying to get open. Oh my gosh. Boom! Overall, I'm giving the shoes a 7.5 out of 10. Next up, we have on the LeBron and Next Gen Phase Clan collab. These shoes are solid. They feel a little heavy, but not as bad as other LeBrons that I've had in the past. I love the design of the sneaker with the Phase logo and the black spiderweb looking lines. And this is just overall a great design to me. Right off rip, there's some type of cushion right here. I feel it in between my toes. It's an interesting feeling. I've never felt cushion there before. And it does feel tight around my ankle, which I like. Feels like it has a little bit of ankle support in it. They do feel a little heavier than the Curry's. You know, LeBron's be heavy. But these don't seem terrible. They're like a little bit heavy. All right, let's check out the squeak test. Here we go. Yes, yes, LeBron, okay. That's the squeak we like to hear. That is superior, that is royal, that is the GOAT, that is LeBron James or Steph Curry? That's a debate for another day, but squeak test, 9.5 out of 10, great squeak. But can the LeBrons handle being shifty? Let's find out. Okay. I think they held up pretty well. I'm not gonna lie. You could hear the squeak in between my steps. The traction was solid and they're pretty comfortable. Comfortable wise, I give them an eight out of 10. The design, let's talk about the design of the shoe. I love the colorway. Can't go wrong with black and red. The stitching right here is sick. I love that, the FaZe Clan logo is right back here if you didn't see it. Faze Clan logo is tough, his signature. You know, so he added his good details into it. I honestly give the design of the shoe oh, an 8.5. Yeah. It's fire, it's fire. Looking down, feels elite. <laughs> Big body bends. <laughs> Oh. 
They're collecting dust a little bit, but not crazy. Gotcha! Honestly, this specific LeBron is really, really nice. I like the way they feel. They're comfortable. They're not super heavy. They're not super light. They feel sturdy. Feel like I won't injure myself. I give these an 8.5 out of 10. The LeBrons cost $160, the same price point as the Currys. In my opinion, it's not bad. It's actually better than the Currys, so I go with an 8 out of 10. Next, we have on the John ja Morant Ones. For $110. The John Morants are one of the lightest sneakers that I've ever put on my feet, and I'm not even exaggerating. These shoes are super, super lightweight. There's really no cushion at the bottom of the shoe. I do like the colorway. He has a letter to his family members and his friends inside the insole of the shoe, which is pretty dope. The design of them is nice. I don't like this mesh material on the top. The best squeak I've heard so far. That's honestly a 10 out of 10. That was pretty loud. That's the best squeak. Wow. That was nice. I like that. Shifty NBA player. Can we be shifty? Let's find out. Ooh. Oh my God. Ooh. Oh, got him on the floor. They, they, they were pretty shifty. I felt light. I felt able to move around. They stopped on the dime. The traction was good. I don't know. The materials feel light, but they're efficient. They're not bad. I like the details that he has on the sneakers. They're different. They don't feel like a copy of anybody. I'd give them an eight out of 10. Overall, I'd have to give the shoe an eight out of 10. I feel good in these. I like them, they're so weight, they're so light, it doesn't even feel like you're wearing shoes, but they're not as snug. So your foot kind of moves around. It's like a, it's like an in-between feeling. I don't know how to explain it. Oh. Oh. The next shifty NBA player sneakers we're wearing are the little mellow ball. One, I love purple so much, so I'm pretty biased, but I think that this is the best colorway out. They are comfortable. It feels like there's a cloud foam. Your foot lays on top of. They feel a little bit wide. They do feel snug. I like the way they feel so far. The ankle support is higher than other lows, so there's more ankle support on these shoes. Let's see how they handle the squeak test. Okay, nice. That was a nice squeak. I give it an 8.5 out of 10. Shifty NBA player, LaMelo Ball. He is an interesting shifty. He's like lulls you to sleep, shifty. That kind of shifty. He gets you sleeping and then he goes by you. You know what I mean? He's standing up and then he, and then he goes crazy. Oh, it feels good. They're lightweight, they're nice. The only thing that hurts a little bit is the ball of my toe. I don't know why it hurts a little bit in these shoes. Every time, every time I wear these, that one part of my shoe. That one part of my foot hurts. The actual design of the shoe is nice. I like all the little details that he puts on the shoe to make them true to him. The design is different. It's not like anybody else, so I like that. Eight out of 10 on the design. <laughs> the last NBA player sneaker I have on, the legend, the GOAT, Kobe Bryant. Kobe reverse Grinches. 
Honestly, these feel hard. Not like there's much cushion, but that's because they mold to your feet, which is insane. The Grinches are so hyped up, but I personally love the reverse Grinch colorway better. Rest in peace to Kobe, man. I wish there was a quote or something from Kobe himself on the shoe, but other than that, it really is a great design. They're super snug on my feet. Feels like my feet are going absolutely nowhere. Ah, uh, not hitting as hard as I wanted to. I'll give it an eight out of 10. Ooh. 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 These are crazy. It's crazy that they, you don't feel cushion and they're so stiff, but they feel good. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. Comfort wise, I give these a seven out of 10. It's not like a cushion, but it's comfortable at the same time. So seven and a half out of 10. The design of the shoe is actually really nice. Obviously, they're a hyped up sneaker, so that makes me a little biased too. But no other sneaker does like the snake skin thing. It's Mamba, obviously. It's his signature. I give it a nine and a half out of 10. There's always room to improve. Overall, the shoe is solid. I like it. I can see myself wearing it for a long time. It's lightweight, it's snug. I feel like I'm the I feel like the traction's really good. I'm able to do what I need to do. Oh. Overall, I give these Kobe's an eight and a half out of ten. Let me know what sneakers you would pick out. Check out this video popping up on the screen of me rating WNBA player sneakers. Love you fam, peace. Hello. You see me in